Uh, I knew you woke up. I knew when you woke up early and uh, you just jumped right out of the bed. I said, oh, she's having one of her hyper days. Yeah, stay clear. I'm going to stay in the house for a while because when you're in your hyper days, you're very commanding and demanding. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, here we are. Another work day. Pretty happy for it. It's an overcast day, though. Again, I watched the weather, and I had thought that by today that we would have sunshine again because we've had nothing but overcast days. It's all right. Overcast is okay as long as it ain't pouring down rain. But it is a beautiful day here without a doubt. Beautiful day. As you see the sun up here though, it is really hidden behind a layer of clouds. It's trying to pop through. It's trying. Well, let's head on up here and look at what it's going to take to get this day started. It's just a few minutes before all the workers show up for the day. The family, the family workers, the family workers. Uh, I like to let people know that because they're not just a hired in crew. I mean, they get paid without a doubt they get paid, but it's in a family event. It is. And that's what makes it so wonderful. I'm so lucky to have uh, a crew of guys that have some skills and talent and also willing to learn as well. The first thing they're gonna do when they do get here is start pulling off forms. Concrete is already set good, nice and firm. Guarantee this is gonna be a really good looking wall when they peel it down here. Well, the guys are starting to show up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get with them and get the day rolling. Look at all this bamboo as I walk by. <laughs> it's just going on and on. We are right to the point of breaking around the corner to the back of the house here today. And uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm just happy to see it all, I tell you. I'm happy to see it all. Let's get this day started. Good morning. Have to break down forms and I'm telling the guys here just to make things simpler and you do the same thing if you copy my method keep you some pails or something and keep all your nuts and bolts and washers and tools for that in a bucket if you got screws to pull out that you're going to reuse keep them in a separate bucket or pail and keep it organized the problem I have with the guys is they'll they'll mix nuts and and washers and all down these screws and then they're trying to dig through those pointy screws and trying to dig them back out of there and uh, they'll be on the floor everywhere and then they'll say we can't find any nuts we can't find any washers because they're scattered everywhere so be organized about it and that's what I'm asking them right now to keep the tools organized so yeah let's begin right here then we'll just go ahead and begin pulling this forms off and uh, and then here's the next thing and, and, and hear me out. Hear me out on this. When we pull this off, we're going to be moving it up later today after we prepare for some window openings and stuff. So don't throw the wood outside. I notice when Marlon helps me, when Marlon, he's a great help, but he likes to just grab everything and throw it out. You know, and then that piece that we have to find it and try to match where it went and it becomes difficult. So here's what I suggest you do. Now listen to me, Marvin. Listen to me. Listen, Linda, listen. All right. Just like we've done in the past. Get you some of those long screws. You don't, don't run them all the way in. You'll hit the cement. Leave them sticking out some. And put a couple screws in each one of these boards here so that it'll stay on there. That way it's already in its place. It's already lined up with its hole. And when we pull this form off then, the wood stays with it. And when we put it back up, it's already ready. So first thing, get that. Yeah, yeah. And so you don't want to screw it to this one though, because this is a short piece. So just stop your screws here on this long sheet and leave that hanging. But go ahead and first thing, 
is get some of those three inch screws and get that impact. This goes out? Yep, yep, those are the three inches. Bro, while he's doing that, get this untied right here where they stuck the bamboo through here. Get it untied and cut it way back here so we have room to lift the form up and not hit bamboo. Cut it way back here, okay? Yeah, go ahead and, and put it on there too. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get this removed. Cut it back here, okay? So at least it's a good gap. Cut this one back too. When they formed up their support in there for the pour up above, they ran this right through a wall. We got a pour, leaving it hanging out there. I know they were trying to stabilize it before they got all the frame up to keep it from falling everywhere. Um, so you got that. Um, the same thing here on this one. Put you a screw and a screw, screw and a screw, because we're gonna move that same form up again. That way all the pieces stay right where they go. And we don't have to search it every time. And when you pull these corners off, don't throw the pieces. Just set them right here. And we know all the pieces for this corner are still right here ready, okay? Don't, you don't have to take it all apart, okay? We'll only just need to take this corner piece out and we might have to remove one, these. Okay. And then we'll just lay them right here. And then when we go up, we just pick them up and put them right back where they came yeah. from. You like it up there, huh? <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, huh? The second story view, I think it's gonna be better than the roof deck third story because you're just gonna see the treetops across up there. All around here, let's see what's going on. Miller's present today. The Miller man. Good morning, bro. Morning. Let's see what you're working on here. Having to move a stirrup. Oh, I need to move the. Yeah, I saw that it was up real close to the side of that form last night. I seen where you had wire screwed and pulling it over. Yeah, another little correction on the steel work there. Uh, You gotta be careful it don't break those pops on the other side. Don't let it fall like that again. I'll go other side. If it falls, snaps one of those PPR pops off, I got a problem. I'll go back to the other side and catch that for you, okay? Oh, they're putting their wire underneath right here. And this is, they put a nail on each side, a nail over there, and a nail over there where he's at. Yes, there's somebody in there. And uh, then they'll pull this wire across and that keeps that form from spreading out and blowing out with all of that concrete so see now he's cranking it tight around there on that nail and he's pulling that wire getting it good and tight and they're doing it all along underneath here and that way it's not just relying on nails we use a lot of nails on this not screws and uh that's what they're used to and i've only got couple screw guns but we got a lot of hammers so it's a lot of nails in this and to keep those nails from just blowing apart that's what they'll come back underneath here and do and they're having to adjust the form over here 
So Uncle Mulong is spreading it back apart, trying to get the nails out so that he can get that form adjusted up. It's not always easy getting those nails back out. He ain't around here to help Marvin him. I tell him I didn't want these to slam down over here and snap off the PR pipe. Love the smell of that fresh cut bamboo, man. It's got a nice smell about it. So something that has always surprised me out of my years being here in the Philippines and seeing the construction stuff go on is that I have yet to see. Now I'm not saying it doesn't exist in this country. I know some of uh, you guys out there that are work construction stuff here in the Philippines. Sometimes y'all get a little offended. Things I'm saying don't don't. Um, I'm just saying that I have yet to see this, but I'm surprised with all the forming they do. They do a lot of forming for beams and columns, a lot. And I'm just shocked that they don't sell, just as a common thing here everywhere, a regular forming nail. And if, if you don't know what a forming nail is, a nail made for wood forms has two heads on it. It has a ring that is like the regular head of a nail that embeds into the wood to stop it and hold it. And then it has a second ring above there, just a little bit, that that is for getting your hammer on there and pulling that nail back out. That way you can completely sink your nail and the first head, the first ring, embeds down and that's, that's where your shoulder is that gives you strength of holding the wood together. Like I say, and the second one is for coming back and deforming and pulling that back apart. You're get, you almost done with those screws? A few more? When you're done with that, put that socket on there and get that pair of pliers that I've got, that pair of channel locks, and just hold on to this so it don't spin and take all the nuts and washers off on that side, okay? So all you should need is one person here just kind of hold on to this and uh, don't squeeze it on the end because you squeeze it on the end you burn those threads. It's hard to get a nut back on. Grab it right there, a pair yes. of those channel locks, and just hold it so it don't spin while he backs that off. Um, just pull it loose. Yes. Keep lifting on it, okay? Yes. Yeah, lift, lift right down there. Pull out. Yeah, pull. Is this what's still holding it? Huh? Ah. You're gonna mess the threads up doing that on both bolts. Give him the pry bar. Hit a sweat. Alright. Oh, careful of that pipe. Ah, uh, yeah. That'll work. Um, let's move this. This is pretty nice. It's got a couple little tiny places that that skim coat will fill all of that in. No, no problem. No problem at all. It looks good. So now we're down to pulling this long one. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Just take it over there. Lean it up over there. Here, I got this. First thing, get the cocoa lumber up off the floor. I bet it's got a screw in it. Just break it on out of there. Oh, it was down in that corner and that nail. That's what it was. Put this one 
So we don't need that piece no more. It can go out. Huh? Uh, no, let's go ahead and remove all of the ones around the bottom. All. guys are battling uh passing one screw gun back and forth back and forth and i have to remember i had an old one down in here i hope this one still works you see all the rubber's falling off of it and it's the earlier model of ryobi man this thing's done a lot of work back in the usa before i sent it here i hope it's still working but i throw a battery on it and find out and melinda just come back from the market what did you buy here fish mostly i bought fish today man look Stuff. at those fish Different kind of fish so that we have stuck here. I get um, got three of those. Oh, and aloe, like that. aloe, yeah, aloe. And man, that is good looking, too. Man, look at that nice dark meat in my hands. Look at that. I get sweet. I'm gonna wash that piece back off. I kind of touched it with my dirty finger. Yeah, man. I get sweet here also. Oh, you got squid, too. Yeah, and you were busy at the market. I bought all this. And, what, and what's this one here? It's a milk fish. I'm going to fillet that. Man, well, let's see one of those milk fish. See how good they look. They're only small. Just a small young one? Yeah, they're Oh, but young you're going to butterfly it open? Butterfly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's pry this uh, out right here. Get that pry bar right there, bro. See if you can hook it right there. All right, there it is right there. Looks good. It does look pretty good. That stuff down there just wipes off. Wipe your hand across that mop mop, see it just falls off. There it is. You can feel the heat. Yeah. yeah. The concrete <laughs> curing, yeah. All right, well, um, really this form Main thing we gotta make sure, safeguard that pipe, that it does not get broke off. Um, it can just sit here. Okay. Yeah, for when we pick it up to the next level. That's right. Off of here. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, came out nice. Move. So another thing is protecting your pipes while you're working. Just like just then he leaned a sheet of plywood against those pipes. Now luckily I had embedded a piece of rebar in there with them to give them a little bit of strength while they're standing here. But you've got to make sure if they snap that off in the concrete, we've got a huge, huge problem. And I suggest that you do the same thing. Put something structural in there with it to tie it to, to give it some strength in case there is like a bonehead move that gets pulled. Now, Miller come in here today and cleaned up all the debris and leaves and trash in this room. Man, I really appreciate him getting that done. That's a big help. Uh, hey, what about what about right there? You didn't leave enough gap? No, on the end of the cocoa lumber. Yeah, so when we make that corner piece there, don't you need to cut that back and leave two inches? Huh? Right or wrong? Yeah, we need to saw those off. Okay. Mark's pulling the, the piece off the, the floor first that was concrete nailed down. Hey, we don't need that piece in here anymore either, so any of those pieces I'm going to have to take on out because those are done for. Now, um, just unscrew this right here. 
There should be two screw guns. Oh, the other one he's using on top. Yeah. Hey, let him borrow that just a second, bro. All Sheet of plywood that was used for plumbing before, and we reused it up here. So it left some circles, but I'm not worried about that. I've got a when I dress this where the seam is, I'll dress that. I've got one of those round diamond faced wheels for concrete, and I'll put it on a big angle grinder, and we'll run down these places and knock that right off. 